right everyone welcome back to another video today i just wanted to discuss um a couple things about minecraft and youtube recently uh, i just wanted to talk about like the direction of um minecraft and youtube and what's been going on recently uh just kind of in general because i feel like there's been a big shift when it comes to the way content is actually being made when it comes to this game um in a really positive way actually so you know i've always wanted to be um involved with youtube and minecraft in some way shape or form yeah i don't know i just feel like minecraft is um really kind of reaching this uh different type of path when it comes to creating content and uh i, I wanted to discuss that today because i feel as if we are finally moving out of that era that's been like this super high energy um white splash text on the screen 100 day survival everybody's screaming in the microphone <laughs> through the whole video and um i've just never really been a fan of that style of video and so it feels good knowing that we're kind of moving in that uh in that other direction when it comes to that type of stuff so it's the whole reason i really created this channel is i wanted to create this channel to um, play on my survival world and interact with the Minecraft community uh, regarding like my builds and what other stuff I should create on the server without having to make videos like that. You know what I mean? Without having to throw up the subtitles on the screen every five seconds and, you know, scream into the mic and all that. Because uh, to be honest with you, that's not really who I am. You know, I've never seen myself as that type of uh, person when it comes to content creation. And so... It feels good to um, know that the community when it comes to YouTube isn't really hard focusing on that anymore. And the whole reason I brought this up is because I uh, actually never really watched the Hermitcraft series. Um, I dabbled in it here and then a couple of episodes in like season nine and stuff like that. But I've never actually uh, truly watched every episode like I have this season, uh, which is the craziest thing to me because this season has been something that I have fallen in love with on Hermitcraft. Um, all of the actual hermits, the people that play on the server are so, so nice. And uh, just listening to their, you know, conversations and the way that they inter interact with each other, the way that they play the game is a very refreshing take that I've noticed and especially listening to um, B-dubs and Imp and Skiz's podcast where they talked about this. It, it was really nice to hear that they have done this on purpose. And that's just because they wanted to kind of tone things down a bit. And I think everyone looks up to those uh, Minecrafters so highly. So when it comes to this game, when they are, you know, acting in that manner, it's kind of like they they're almost like role models for us in a way. Um, and so whether or not they realize it, their actions tend to bleed into other creators. And uh, they've definitely um, inspired people like myself to start working and making Minecraft videos in that type of manner because um, here I am recording a video talking about Hermitcraft and its effect on modern day Minecraft and modern day YouTube. And uh, I just absolutely never thought I would be doing that. So <laughs> that's um, props to them for, you know, the, the the mission that they have and the initiative that they've taken has actually uh, really stemmed uh, down into us. And um, I say us like I'm a huge member of the community, which I'm not. I mean, look at the channel, 28 subscribers. That's not much there. Um, but I do feel like I'm an active part of the Minecraft community in the sense of I play this game a lot, as you can see in this single player world. And so um, I pay attention to what a lot of other Minecrafters are doing. So to know that I can finally make Minecraft videos again without having to worry about making sure my video is structured like a Mr. Beast video, that is a really refreshing thing to know. And it, I just feel like I can, oh, well, I'll get to that in a second. I now have two animals stuck on this fence post. How did you get up there? Yeah, as someone who is definitely a more like chill and laid back person when I'm by myself, uh, it feels awesome to know that I can just sit down, record a video, start talking about a topic or start playing Minecraft and make a video about it without having to make this whole TV show style video where I'm, you know, really playing up my character, talking like I normally wouldn't talk or something and just structure the video in a weird way that's almost you know built like it's aimed for this 
insane amount of video retention because uh, quite frankly, I've never been a fan of watching videos like that. So I, I really just didn't watch a lot of Minecraft in the past, <laughs> I would say, I don't know, three years, four years, uh, especially after, you know, the whole Mr. B style trend really exploded on YouTube during that time period. I feel like I just wasn't really paying attention to YouTube videos like that all that much. And it was sad because I feel like a lot of those creators were forced and felt like they had to make videos like that, which um, I can understand from a creator perspective. This is not my only YouTube channel. Um, I've had other successful YouTube channels and uh, not having that freedom of being able to make videos the way that you want to make them because you know they won't do well if you do it that way is really sad. So I, I guess I'm just happy that YouTube has finally reached a point where the uh, the algorithm is really helping out those slower paced videos. And um, it, it's just good to know that I can finally contribute to making Minecraft videos again with having my natural slower pace. I just feel as a creator, my ability to speak and communicate what it is that I'm thinking in a video is much better at a slower pace than it is when I'm not naturally um, talking in the uh, tones that I wouldn't be talking in. I, I don't know how else to explain that to you guys. Like I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I am much more successful when it comes to commentating a YouTube video if I'm speaking in a slower pace and I really have time to think my thoughts and not have to worry about editing something in a certain way that's going to grab somebody's attention. I'd rather just have my videos feel natural to you and like you're actually sitting here, you know, in a conversation with me watching me you know, play Minecraft. I really, I really, that's the only way I can explain that. You know, I guess a huge thanks to a lot of the people on the Hermitcraft server that came up with the um, idea of finally making the videos that way because um, those videos have been absolutely awesome. I've missed an andesite block there. I'm going to go fix that. The Those Hermitcraft videos that all of the Hermits have been releasing have been absolutely awesome. And I can't thank them more than enough for all of the hard work they do when it comes to this game because this is not an easy game to play for years and years on end. And I'm sure a lot of people who have done that can understand that. It takes a long, uh, it takes a lot of dedication to play Minecraft every single year, every single week of the year, like a lot of those creators do, um, because I've had this world for, I don't know, five years, probably longer. And there are many, many times in this world where I have experienced burnout and, um, I mean, a great example of this is this castle, right? This castle I have had since 2019 and I've gotten burnt out building this castle so many times I have yet to finish it, but the hermits have really inspired me to kind of just log onto my world, start recording a video, start talking about some topics and just work on the castle, right? And, and I think that's what's so amazing about all of this is that if they hadn't been making those videos like that and making that movement, I would have never thought to get back on here and start working on this castle because before season 10 of Hermitcraft started, I wasn't even thinking about this single player world, which is so funny considering I've had it for so long, right? So their dedication to making those videos has really, I don't think they realize how much that motivation that they have spreads towards other players, um, especially someone like myself, like just seeing Etho and Gem and Corrales and, you know, uh, Pearlescent Moon, so many other creators, Impulse, B-dubs, all those guys, they're all so fantastic, every single one of them. Um, seeing them play, you know, while I'm eating my breakfast or something, or the first thing in the morning, you know, when I wake up and I'm just trying to watch a YouTube video to get my brain going, watching them play Minecraft and having them uh, you know, just work on their builds and all the different and cool things they come up with. It really helps inspire me in my world and helps a lot of creations. Like there's just so many things I want to do now, like finish this castle. And obviously I made that new redstone sugarcane farm, which I would never do. I am not a redstone person at all, but Etho has made me want to learn it. And we have the laboratory in the city over there that I've been just recently starting and I want to like remodel this house because this house is so outdated. There's so many cool things that I can do now. And uh, it's all thanks to the hermits because of their inspiration. And again, like I said, the coolest part about all of that is now I can finally make a video on it 
and just upload it with my natural voice, my natural talking, and not have to worry about editing this video like it's a TV show. And that is, that is just like, I love that. I don't know how to explain that any further. I love those type of videos. And to be able to do that again without having to worry about it getting zero views is just a great thing. And so I guess that leads me to my point. That's the whole reason I created this channel, right? The Hermits have 100% inspired me to create a Minecraft channel. I would never thought I would say that as a 25 year old man, <laughs> considering the other things I do in my life. I did not think I would be creating a Minecraft YouTube channel, but I guess, you know, I just love this game. And if they can share their builds and whatnot, then I guess I there's nothing wrong with that. I could do that too, you know? But yeah, I guess I just wanted to make that known. That was something that um, I've really noticed lately that I feel very passionate about. Um, and I just wanted to kind of uh, discuss that topic a little bit. So uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I don't really have anything else to talk about. Didn't really plan on doing anything in this video, which is why I was just walking around looking at stuff. Um, there's one more thing I want to say, and I want to give him a shout out because he has not changed his ways in years. If you guys love Minecraft and you know who Dallas Med 65 is, this man has had the same single player world for 10 years, probably longer. And he is such a great YouTuber. He's such a nice guy, such a genuine person. And he has one of the coolest single player worlds ever. There's so much lore and stories behind it. And if you haven't seen that series, he has, you know, been through some tough times when it comes to his channel. He used to get a lot, a lot of views uh, for every one of his videos, you know, upwards of 100,000, if not more, every single episode he uploaded. And just over the years, it's been slowly declining, declining, declining. And, um, you know, he gets around 20,000 views a video now, sometimes lower. But I haven't missed an episode in about six years of watching Dallas's videos because I love his style of building i love his storytelling in his videos um they're great videos to watch right before you go to bed because uh he's got a very relaxing voice um and yeah he is just such an awesome creator when it comes to minecraft and i feel like a lot of modern people don't know about him yet and so i wanted to shout him out in this video because he plays a, a huge role in why my world is the way it is um and so uh I want to do everything I can to make sure that he gets the recognition he deserves. And so if you haven't watched any of his videos yet and you don't know who I'm talking about, please go on YouTube for me. Go on the search bar and search up Dallas Med 65. That's M-E-D 65. So Dallas Med 65 and just give him a subscription. Watch a couple of his videos. I can guarantee you you're going to like him if you like Minecraft. He is, uh, he's such a great builder and uh, a great storyteller and he uploads some awesome videos. So um, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for this video. And um, if any of the creators of the Hermitcraft or Dallas is watching this, uh, yeah, thank you guys for what you do. Uh, it's has absolutely not been taken for granted um, by myself and I'm sure many others feel the same way. So uh, we uh, yeah, we'll continue to support you through your series. We'll continue to watch every single episode. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode. Moo.